Hi everyone. Today's assembly is about being inclusive of people with differences. The key messages from today's assembly are for us to think about the fact that everybody has things that they are great at and everybody has things that they need help with. So I'm not just talking about people that might work with me in school, but I'm talking about everybody, so every student, every teacher, every parent, we all have things that at times we find difficult and need help with. And therefore it's really important that we don't judge people by how they might first appear. So we're not judging people by what we think they find easy or what they think we think they find difficult. And we're gonna start by watching a video that epitomizes these messages to really sums up why it's important for us not to judge people by how they first appear. in my life and time I sung a lot of songs and I make some bad runs I reckon up my life in stages 10,000 people watching yeah we're alone now and I'm singing the song Together, 
I hope you enjoyed that. I know I find it very emotional watching that. I think it gives us a really important message of not to judge people by what they find difficult or how we first see them. So I want you to think back to what you first thought of Cody when he came on and he was he was finding it difficult to, to answer the questions, interact with people, and whether you expected that performance or not. And if not, we need to be changing our perceptions and, and viewing everybody as having the potential to show us really great talent like Cody did. And this idea about not judging people by how they first appear works in the other way as well. So we might judge people as being perfect and not having any difficulties. So you might look at somebody like Jamila Jamil, who's a really successful actress and presenter, and think that she comes across as perfect. And you might think she must have had it easy and she's never struggled with anything. But actually, she, she was born deaf and she went to a special needs school when she was in primary school because she needed that level of, level of support. And she's also struggled with um, mental health difficulties as well. So it's really important we're not looking at her and thinking that she's had it easy and successful people don't have to overcome difficulties. And it's the same with a number of other celebrities who might appear to find everything easy, but actually, just like we said at the beginning, they've had things that they needed help with in their past. So we've got a couple of people, and this is among many. So if you Google different additional needs like ADHD or dyslexia, you will find that there are thousands of celebrities that have also had the same difficulties and, and still do and overcome them. So ADHD is when you find it really difficult to focus, your retention, and quite impulsive with your actions. Ed Sheeran, who performs now to thousands of people, has a stammer, so found it really difficult to speak aloud when he was at school. And Kira Knightley and Steve Jobs, who have both gone on to be extremely successful, both have dyslexia, so they probably found school really difficult in terms of reading and writing, and maybe exams were really difficult for them. We've got a number of really successful people like Rita Thunberg, the creator of Pokemon, who have autism. And Cody's mum mentioned that he had autism. I think it's really important we realise that everyone with autism is completely different, um, just like we all are. But it's really impressive that these people have, have been so successful. RJ Mitt has cerebral palsy. Daniel Radcliffe. Um, has dyspraxia, so he will have found things like handwriting and maybe PE really difficult when he was at school. So the message is for us not to presume that anyone who's been successful has had it easy. And if we're finding things difficult, we're not the only one and, and we can overcome them. And asking for help and recognising what we need help with is a really positive thing and not something to be embarrassed of. So we're going to finish the assembly with some discussion points. So independently and then as a class, I want you to think about have you ever judged someone by how they first appear? And then I want you to think of something you're really good at and also to think of something you find difficult and admit what it is that you find difficult and might need help with. And then as a class, you can think about whether you're the only person that finds something difficult. Thank you so much for listening.